Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a camera on a curve using an empty and set up that rig that I had alluded to in the last video. Uh, so I got some comments and people want to see it. So I'm going to use a camera instead of that really awesome spaceship thingy that I used. And uh, it's going to be really cool for you. So let's go. <laughs> So you see, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need something to animate on. So I want to animate on a path to make a nice smooth camera motion. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a curve and I'll say circle, okay, Bezier circle. And I'll just go ahead and scale him up a little bit. I'll say about six seems to be pretty good. So now I have a nice wide circle kind of moving around and we're going to go ahead and create a simple rig that's going to be pretty useful and as this video moves on you'll see how useful it really is. So the first thing I'll do here is I will create a empty and for this tutorial I'll use a cube so you can see it. So here's our empty. An empty is just a non-rendering object. It's never going to render. It's never going to show up. It's never going to ruin your scene. It's just kind of there to be used as a tool and you'll see how we use it now. So for this I'm going to end up having this move around the circle and have this parented to this. So the first thing I want to do is you notice our camera is out here in the middle of nowhere. Right? So if I go here to this little arrow thingy or I hit N on the keyboard that shows this, hides it, shows it. Okay, N does that. You see here that the location and the rotation are kind of weird, right? So we could go in here, the long way to do this is to go in and type zero, zero all these out, or you can click and drag and hit zero once and zero them out. Or there's a really cool shortcut from an old version of Blender that allows you to center an object just with a keyboard shortcut. So if I hit Alt-G, that's going to zero out my location. So Alt-G snaps it in to the center. And then to clear out the rotation here, I'm just going to hit Alt-R. So that zeroes it all out. So now you see it's perfectly centered with our perfectly centered um, empty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the camera, then I'm going to shift select the cube. I'm going to right click and hit parent and, or you could hit control P that works too. And I'll go ahead and say object and it says object keep transform. Sure. Okay. That's cool. So now what we have is we have this camera parented to our empty. So if I go ahead and I hit the move tool here, you can see that it moves with the empty and that's exactly what we want. So now all that's left to do for this part is to parent this to this. So we want this to move around this. Now in that video that I talked about in the beginning of this video, which showed you how to parent things and how to, how to get stuff to animate on a path, I did two ways. I choose and prefer to use the constraint mode. So I'll show you that now. So if I have this selected and I go over here to this constraint tool over here, this little glyph, I can say add object constraint and go to follow path under relationship, follow path. And then we just have to choose the target. So what, what path we want to follow. That's what target here means. So if I click this little thing, I can say Bezier circle, boom, there it is. And the last thing I want to do here is I'm going to sit follow curve and I'm going to say fixed position. And what that does, fixed position gives us this offset variable. So I can now go from zero to one zero being where it's at. And if I click and drag in here with my left mouse button, one is 360 degrees around the circle. So this can control our pan for the camera or our kind of movement for the camera. All right. So you're looking at this and going, well, that's great. Cool. That's wonderful. But your camera is still pointing straight down. Well, yeah, we're going to fix that. So the first thing I'm going to do here to fix that is select the camera. And what I want the camera to do, I mean, I could go and rotate this in, but it's still only going to, like, if I just rotate this, it's not going to track to Suzanne. So we want this to always be pointing at Suzanne for this move. So what we'll do here is we'll use another constraint, okay, under constraint, add object constraint, and we say track to. And we give it a target, what we want to track it to, in our case, Suzanne. So boom. So now it's not tracking to Suzanne. That's do, pretty much doing exactly what you thought it would, right? <laughs> so we have to fix this. How do we do that? Well, let's take a look at our axes here. 
So we have these axes that we can use. So you can go through these and really kind of tear your head off. Or you could just follow me, do exactly what I just did, and hit up Y and negative Z. Okay? And that's going to point it directly at Suzanne. Okay, So you probably just want to take those settings if you're following along. Um, but know that you might have to frustratingly play with these depending on what axes you're on and so on and so forth. So just know that's a little bit tricky, but it ultimately works. Now you'll see here, if I go to my null, my empty here, and I do offset, you see the camera, that little blue dot appears, the dotted line, and now my camera is always staring at Suzanne. Well, that's really cool. All right, so if I go into camera view, I hit zero on the keyboard, and I go into camera view, all right, and I select my empty. All right, we're still here, offset, and I offset. We get a nice turntable of Suzanne. We're like, great, Kev, that's just, just wonderful. I could have just, like, grabbed Suzanne and, like, turned her around and set keyframes. Well, big deal. Why am I watching this video? Ha ha. Yeah, why are you watching this video? Because we're going to do something really cool that you can't do if you just did that. So watch this. I can now take my camera... Okay, let's set it. Let's set some keyframes here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll say offset at frame one. Let me pull this up so you can see it better. Okay, offset at frame one. I'm going to right click and say insert keyframe. And then I'm going to go out to frame, well, I don't know, 120 is fine. And I'm going to zoom up maybe to about there. And I'm going to say right click and say insert keyframe there. So now I have this little motion happening where the camera does this little kind of pan. All right, and if I hit zero, you'll see that we're doing this little pan here. All right, so still, so big deal, right? So you were able to do that. You could have just done that by, you know, turning Suzanne. However, what you can do now, because this is this camera is separate from the object that's moving it, you can now keyframe the camera to do different things. All right, so let's just say, okay, I'm going to go... Offset at zero, and I'll select the camera and I'll set a keyframe for the camera. So I'm just gonna go up here, I'm gonna say location, and I'm just gonna say right click, say insert keyframes. And then I'll go to the last frame, 120, and I'll click here and I'll say insert keyframes. And now I have these keyframes. So what I can do is here now, I can move this guy up, and I'll just say replace keyframes. And then at frame 120, I could pull him down a little bit, say, uh, oops, pull him down a little bit here, make sure you're on the keyframe, replace keyframes, and now we have a nice smooth motion of that happening. So let's see what that looks like. I hit zero, and now you can see, if I hit play, we have kind of a nice smooth motion. All right, and if I set that backward, you know, it could have been like an establishing shot, right? A nice kind of crane shot. So you can play around with this and really get some nice smooth motion going. And the really nice thing about the fact that I did this with constraints now is I can change this to my graph editor. And let me pull this up so you can see this better. And we now have, okay, if, if I kind of go out here a little bit, we now have, if I hit shift all right so i have I hit home key and you can see everything here what we have is we have the object transforms okay we have the location the x y and z location and we also have this empty offset factor right here so we can go ahead and in this interface here we don't have to bounce over to curve and look for that relations and all that stuff we can just do it all in here and select you know let's uh go here and we can start pulling things around and you can see that when you move things around in here okay you can start really affecting the entire timing all right if you didn't want it to start off slow and end slow okay you could select say the Z location here all right or we could do the offset factor here and uh, I can select both of these or all of these and I can go to key interpolation mode and I can say linear and now everything is a linear motion okay so it's kind of doing its linear thing and now it's going all the way around so you can do a whole lot just by playing in here and everything is right here 
And lastly, the last thing I want to discuss too is that sometimes you, you might not want to, and I'll just back that out here, all that stuff I just did. You might not want to always look at Suzanne, right? Because that's kind of boring. You want a little control over where your camera moves, right? So the last thing I'm going to do in this video is show you how to set that up. So I'll go back here to timeline. And we will now, instead of having the, the camera point at Suzanne, we're going to add in another null object. So I'm going to go add, or empty, I should say. It's called null in a lot of other programs. I'll, empty is in Blender. And I'll go ahead and I'll use a sphere so we can see it. And now instead of, I go back to the camera, instead of the target being Suzanne, I'm going to say empty, okay, so it didn't call it an empty sphere. It's empty 001. Choose that. And now, if I move the empty here, I move the target of the camera. So I can keyframe this as well. So you'll see here, if I hit zero on the, key, on the numeric keypad, okay, we're doing this nice sweep, but we can also set a keyframe for this. So say, if I wanna move this guy a little bit over here and aim him a little bit differently, like over here, set a keyframe. So I'll set a keyframe here, right click, say insert keyframes, and go out to like 120. Maybe insert a keyframe back here a little bit. All right, insert keyframes. Okay, so now it's not perfectly centered and you have a little more control. And then like in here, you could say, I wanna look at something else. So in this case, I'll just hit the G key, move him around. I can move him independently wherever I want, All right? Keyframe it there, insert keyframe. And now I have this kind of motion being controlled by something else. So my camera is comple completely free it's still being controlled by that curve it's still being animated on the curve but i have all these other options where i can aim the camera and i can move the camera up and down so it gives me a lot more control and this is a really nice little simple rig that you can use in a really quick fashion to start getting some nice smooth camera motions going all right so hopefully that helps and if you got something out of this video you know hit subscribe Hit that little bell notification so you see more of these videos when they come out. Share it, whatever. Comment section's open. I encourage you to be nice, but uh, I'll do my best to help you out if you got lost at all. So with that, let's close this out, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.